Hello, hello, wonderful drama people. We're going to have a look at how to make a professional looking script. And today we're going to study a screenplay, which is a script for a movie. So what you do is you go to You Me Script. It's all free. It's all cool. You start with the title page. Title page doesn't really matter. It's this that I care about. What's the first thing you see? Well, first thing you see is a camera direction. And that indicates that the... Um, the video is going to fade in. I don't know what that means. What does this mean? Xed scary forest. Well, clearly we're starting in a scary forest. What does X mean? X means exterior. If it was the inside of some place, we would use int. Int drama room 107. Then when I click down here, the first thing I get is what's called an action. So it's going to format it as an action or what are called in stage scripts, stage directions. So stuff you don't say, but that tell the actors and director what is going on. So we're going to start with a group of students arrive in a small, cozy drama room. It is dark. One of the students, Lizzie, turns on the light, right? Why did I capitalize it? It's just what you do in a screenplay. All right, then when I hit enter, I get action again. Well, what if I want somebody to talk? I can hit tab. And tab gives me character. So I'm gonna type in Lizzie, right? And now I can add dialogue. So Lizzie says, Phew, it smells kind of stale in here, right? And then, again, when I hit enter, I get character again. But if I push the tab, I can go between all these different types of things, right? So let's put another character. This character will be called Wu, all right? And Wu's dialogue is, I don't know, it smells just like your feet, Dan. Dan, shut up. Well, so far we're right into it, but it's not much of a story. It's kind of boring. So what do we need? Well, we need a scissor moment, don't we? Right? So let's add a new character. Let's add somebody. Uh, we'll call her... Mm -hmm. Tomiko. All right. Dialogue. Hey, guys. Want to see my um, knife? Dan. Well, he, he was going to say what, but that would be a waste. You have a knife? Now, notice that I've got a list of all the characters, so I can just choose here. Tomiko, sure. I always carry it. You are so full of... And I would, in a grown-up script, I would write, you know what I would write, but I'll just put crap, right? Tommy, right? Why do I have him say Tommy? Um, because nobody has heard her name, right? So... She says, you are so full of crap. Tony says, woo. Not as just like your mom, woo. Shots fired. Do people really talk that way? I don't know. We're going to figure it out. Now, say you want to put every now and again a little thing that lets the actors know how to say something right? You don't do that very often. You usually leave that up to the uh, actor. But if I push tab, I get what's called a parenthetical. And that just means it goes in brackets, parentheses. So I could say, Wu can say, um, fighting back rage, right? Now again, I probably wouldn't put that in. Like, that's not really my job as a screenwriter. My job is to write a, a line of dialogue that lets me know that he is enraged. So what could he say to let me know that he is enraged? Shot fired just like your mom. You're full of crap. Well, maybe he gets a little sarcastic. At least 
I have a mum. Right? Dan is going to give him a little bit of a problem. That's over the line. It's over the line, man. Who asked you, Dan? Nobody. I'm just saying, don't piss off. Oh, grown up word. Person who has a knife. Uh, maybe a better way to write that, right? Maybe don't piss off somebody, someone with a knife. So I'm struggling because I want it to sound realistic. Mind you, I don't really care because I'm going to go and change this stuff anyway, right? Now we have a little bit of tension here. Wu says she doesn't. Right. Okay. It's asking me if I want to save. Always a good uh, homie's knife. We're going to put an apostrophe in there. I save it to Google Drive, which is an awesome feature of this. And I go, thank you. Internet share this group of collaborators. Understood. All right. What does Wu say? She doesn't have a knife, idiot. Yes, I do. Right? Now, I usually when I write a script, I usually don't put in, like, sound words like ah and ooh and um and things like that unless I really want it there for the rhythm because, again, that's up to uh, the actor to add that. Uh, what I'm trying to do is create natural dialogue. Like, I really want it to be supernatural. And why do I like writing scripts? Because look at this. We've just been writing for a little bit, and we're already on page two. Thing writes itself. Then show us, right? Now, what could Wu's coming at turn out to be a bit of a sarcastic character, right? So, what could he say? I don't know. I want him to say something sharp, but I don't want it to sound stupid. But I'm not going to worry too much about it. Then show us. Show us your shiv, gangsta. Okay, not, not a great line, but you know, at least it gets the tone across, and maybe I can fix it later on. Right, Lizzie? She's going to be the worried one. She's like, the teacher will be here any second. So do it fast. So show us now. Let's see this knife. How am I going to put that he puts air quotes? I assume the actor can do that if he want. Come on. Right? Bring it out. Show it up. Show us. I want to see. Now, I'm, I'm thinking right now that we have not yet introduced Lizzie. Right, so we got to get her name in later. But again, I'm trying to stay fluid here. I'm trying to keep moving. I can always go back and tighten that up later. Yeah, I want to see it too. Now, I don't think we need to have yeah. Although maybe I don't know. We'll keep it in for now. Right. Now here's where we can. In. It's okay, Lizzie. Right. Now here's a perfect place for a parenthetical. Right. Parenthetical is reaching into her purse. It's okay, Lizzie, right? So now we got Lizzie's name out there. You want to see it? Yeah. I do. Sure. I do. I do. I really do. Keeping that sarcastic edge, right? Okay. Now, I think at this point we need something to happen because they've been talking a long time 
And scripts are really about action, right? So what I need to do is I need to, again, that's a stage direction. So uh, Tomiko whips out a blade. It is a truly wicked, dangerous looking curved blade with a red uh, um, unique handle. Now, unique, you got to tell them uh, with a black handle. No, a pearl. No, you know what? I'm not going to specify that. Long curved blade. It is not for, I don't know, uh, cutting. We get cut with knives usually. It is not for cutting cheese. This knife's only, this knife w was made, was made to cut people. Students, Lizzie and Dan react. Wu does not have time. Now, this is a trick. Rather than telling them how to react, I just want a reaction, right? I'm not even sure I need to put that because actors are going to react, right? So, Wu does not have time uh, because Tomiko has rushed forward and is pressing the blade into Wu's throat. He... All right, time to go. Okay, we'll put a little bit of a pause, right? So not a note, but uh, let's see. After pause. Well, let's make it a long pause. Long pause is like three seconds long. Believe me now. Woo. A little comedy maybe, even in a serious moment? Let's see. Woo. Very quietly. Yes. <laughs> so this script is off to a good start because, and actually I like it. I might actually continue this one. So now I got to make sure that I save, right? So what I want to do is I want to, let's see, I'll save a copy. Right, because that way I take control of my saving process. And the cool thing about this is it gives me all sorts of things. It gives me a list of the characters that I've created. Uh, it gives me a list of the location. <laughs> I guess I can get rid of Scary Forest because, oh, maybe not. Maybe I'll use a Scary Forest. And all sorts of other toys that you can use as well. Um, there are lots of other script writers that you can use. My favorite is actually called Celtics.com. Right, but it costs money. This one's free. It's super awesome. You should absolutely use it.